Hello guys and welcome back to the fourth video in our ORCID-X how-to series that is focusing on PCB footprints in Presto. In this video, what we're going to do is actually use the footprint templates in order to even more speed up our footprint generation. All right, so to create a footprint from a template, we're going to go to File, New, and Template-Based Footprint. Now the footprint generator or the template based footprints are based on IPC standards. And here in the top right, you'll see are the different IPC standards. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but you can pretty comfortably leave it at IPC B. And then on the left side here are all the different footprints, which we can auto generate based on this templating function that we have. Now in our previous example, we created a QFN type component. And if you remember, it had 11 pins on each side, so 44 pins total, plus an EPAD in the middle. And it took us about, I don't know, 15 minutes, I think, of moving some of the pins around, maybe 10 minutes. Now, again, that was a, a demonstration. If you guys are proficient in making footprints, you can be much quicker. However, the fastest way to make a footprint, other than downloading it from one of our third-party libraries, is to use these templates. Now, we're going to go through this template from top to bottom and just fill in each of these parameters here based on this little image that gives us a cheat sheet on what each parameter means. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump in. All right, so for the footprint name, we're going to call this our QFN44 template. For NX, this is the number of pins in the X direction, which was 11, and NY is also 11. The pitch for our pins was 0 0.5 millimeters. And then let's see, package height is one millimeter. The standoff, we'll just keep that at 0 0.02. This is gonna depend on a lot of things, but I guess in my data sheet, it does actually set it to 0 0.02, so that's good. The pullback, uh, let's go ahead and leave it as the default. And then body X and body Y, so this is the size of our component is seven by seven millimeters. The body underscore draft. Let's see where that is. Body draft. We can leave it at seven degrees. Uh, actually, this should be zero because uh, we know that this happens to be a QFN, so perfectly square uh, edges. Let's see, contact length is in this case, L, which is 0 0.55 millimeters. The contact width is 0 0.23 millimeters. Terminal height, let's leave it at 0 0.2 for now. Terminal round is true, we'll leave that as true. Thermal package, we'll leave that as true for now as well. The thermal X is the size of our thermal pad, which is E2 by D2, which is 5.2 millimeter. Let's see, the chamfer. Do we have a chamfer? Let's say yes. And then the chamfer length, 0 0.5 millimeters, sounds good. All right, when we're done, we just simply hit generate and it generates the footprint for us. Look at that. So professional, so quick. Uh, and if we look on the layers, we should also expect to have, for example, our DFA layer, our place bound layer, and even an assembly layer, which has a pin one indicator. So super, super quick. Uh, the origin is even set at the center pin. And let's see if we have a 3D model for this. Oh, look at that. We even have a 3D model. Looks like it doesn't have the little ball grids underneath, but, or not ball grids, this wouldn't even have <laughs> Wouldn't even have that. Let's see if we can move it in the uh, Z direction a little bit. Maybe five millimeters. Yep. Oh, so it even has all of the pins where they should be and the E pad. So look at that. Everything that we need for this footprint is automatically generated for us. And really, all you need to do from this point on is simply hit File, Save As and save the footprint to wherever you want to keep it in your library. 
So that's it for the footprint generator, guys. This was a very simple video, and I really recommend playing around with that footprint generator. Uh, it's going to make your life so much easier if you're creating footprints for your library. Um, or again, go back to our first or second video, you know, leverage some of those libraries, the third party libraries, import those into Presto and maybe make some changes. There's a lot of different ways to very quickly make footprints for your design. So hopefully you guys don't get, what do I want to call it? Uh, footprint anxiety when you run into a component with a complex footprint and instead be confident in creating that part in your own design environment. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you have any comments, questions, please leave them below. If you have any recommendations for future videos, also let us know below in the comments. And uh, yeah, again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series of videos and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.